as suffering is being experienced and this uh, personality is arising, deep beliefs are ingrained about uh, lack of self-worth. I don't want to go too much into detail because it would be a long conversation and change the direction of the subject. But um, the beliefs you carry about yourself, the deep beliefs, this needs constant food because they don't have a value uh, by themselves. But with this suffering experience, hmm, uh, who comes first, this is a, well, okay. These deep beliefs about yourself, they are the motor, the engine of your life. And they are suffering based. You see? Uh, you, have under, you have seen this in relation to others, that sometimes you are uh, saying one thing, making a comment or something, with one intention and the other gets hurt intensely and fights back, reacts in an unexpected way without any... Uh, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't because your intentions were different. So the reaction seems to be without any sense. But your words have touched the other one in a particular way that has nothing to do with you. It's her own world. This is what she wants to see. She wants to see these words coming out of your mouth. She wants to interpret it. She needs to interpret it in this way. The wounds are there. So whatever you're saying, uh, it is always about uh, rejection, uh, Rejection, rejection, rejection. Yeah, the, uh, there's not, not much going around here. And rejection because you're not good enough. So criticizing is rejection. Everything is and comes back to the point where you're not good enough. This is what you really believe. You, not, not, it's not about others. It is never about anyone else. And what is, what does the one who has no value, who is not good enough, what does this one deserve apart from suffering? This is your deep belief, one of the deepest, and the motor of life. 